quick bit of news. Um, it's not t too important to me because it's like not not my cup of tea on both sides. But <laughs> uh, Baldur's Gate Three, which has been doing really really well, has reviewed really well. Um, these games have you know cold following since the nineties. This is a a big deal RPG uh, to a lot of people. Um, the game's coming on Xbox, but the Xbox Series S version of the game does not have the split screen multiplayer. So we are starting to see cutbacks to features uh, on for games on Series S. Um, I bumped up uh, into uh, I can't remember was it an article was it a, so I bumped into something the other day saying that the Series S was actually holding back gaming because of what? because of the Series S being so le you know so much less powerful than the Series X and the PS5. But you would never say that about the Switch. Right? It's so dumb. It's so, not the right take. Is that, is that and and you know why it's not the right take too? The the first thing that I thought about was well, it doesn't really hold that gaming because PlayStation first party studios are doing things that are yes. moving things forward, right? Yeah. Um, I didn't think of the Switch when you, when you, now that you mentioned it, but I did think about it. It was like, it's not really holding back gaming because PlayStation is doing their own thing. And like, they have the studios and Absolutely. they're, you know, doing the Horizons and the God of Wars and all that. It was like, why? All right. Why can't Microsoft do that? Apparently That's they can't the <laughs> because Starfield got a seven from IGN.com. Star, right, dude. <laughs> I heard it's good I, though. I heard it's good. I was at my barber the other day, yeah. and one of the guys is talking about it, and we're, we're talking about Starfield, and he's like, "Oh, my friends owe me money because I told them it wouldn't get. They wouldn't. They, we were, they were arguing over it if it would get to ninety percent on Metacritic oh, or not. Oh yeah, and uh, it came short. So. Yeah, dude. I think it's like eighty six nah. right now, right? Or eighty four. It's interesting because when you look at when you look at the, the the different videos I've gone on about it, it does look somewhat appealing. Like if I if I had an Xbox, I'd get it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but man, that's supposed to be like you know the savior. Spend billions of dollars buying these guys, and seriously, that's why I don't get it. I, like when when they got Bethesda, it was like ah, eh, it's fine. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was like it didn't didn't really make a big difference for me, man. And and even then, I can still play it on PC, so it doesn't really matter, right? But I don't know. It's uh, it's interesting to see that there's at least on, on the Xbox end, things are getting held back uh, because now they're having to cut features from games. Um, who knows what? I don't know what Halo Infinite would have been if. They didn't have to cater to the lesser console too, right? Mm, so mm, that yeah, that that's yeah. my thing. At least with the Xbox thing, like this, not this. The Xbox Series S is not holding back gaming; it's holding back Xbox. That's the difference. So, oh, it's uh again not Pop not my thing, that but one bit. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's not holding back gaming; it's holding back the Xbox. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. It's. It's Baldur's Gate. It's a bunch of nerds playing this game. Like, hardcore nerds. Like, I'm a nerd, and you're, you know, way more hardcore nerd than me. <laughs> it's a Friday night, Obed. It's we're not Friday. out there living <laughs> living wild where we're talking about Baldur's Gate. Come on, we're nerds. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. <laughs> the compliment Thank, now. Thanks for the reminder. It's like... Yeah, I'm I'm surprised you haven't brought up my Pac-Man shirt again. The, oh my god! The 400 god. pound hacker in his basement. <laughs> oh my gosh! I will never live that down, bro. Oh my gosh! I'm not gonna lie. Goodness. Like anybody who's been watching, if you're new to the podcast, if you never saw Obed and I's video about is Mario Kart uh, at the, the Disney. Sorry, at Universal, if it's sizes, if you've not watched that video, 
You are in for a treat if you have a good sense of humor. That's a, that's a good video, oh, sir. Oh my goodness. It's a good video. You guys, if you, like... We have a lot of new subscribers since that time. <laughs> you guys got to go back and, and watch that video. As a big guy oh myself, my I am allowed to make fun of my brethren <laughs> and sisters. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Hey, it's happened to me. I went to Legoland and that thing wouldn't fit. It was like this is for children. And yeah, that lady for kids, literally. And that, that lady had to push that 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 harness too hard. I was like, oh, I can't freaking breathe, dear. <laughs> like, what the heck was that? Like, I can't wait for this ride to be over. So yeah, it's happened to yeah. me, right? So I can talk about hey, but it. But you wrote it. I wrote it. Yeah, I I can talk about it. Um <laughs> no bro that mario that mario kart video bro mario and now the, the pac-man that's no that's no. a video folks if you need to go back just have a good sense of humor yeah. we're, we're having fun as yeah well. yeah for sure yeah and yeah joe joe is having fun at, at my expense <laughs> <laughs> never never this, i'm just digging a bigger trench for myself this is not a good situation 